So a few years ago, my PlayStation got hacked and honestly, it really sucked. You get all these charges on your credit card, you try to log in and you can't even get into your own account. You see things getting deleted. It was really a terrible experience and I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Aside from having a strong password that you change every year, the best way to protect your PlayStation account is to have two-factor authentication. So that means every time you type in your password, it's going to send a code through text message to your phone. So that way, even if your password gets hacked, as long as they don't have your phone or have access to it, you're all good. It only takes a few minutes and you'll definitely thank me later. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get into it. There's two ways to set up two-factor authentication. The first one's through the website and the second one is on the PS4 itself. If you want to skip ahead, I put a time code down in the description or you can just click on the scroll bar below. This is by far the quickest and easiest way to protect your account from hackers. So first thing you gotta do is head over to PlayStation.com. You'll see in the top right, there's a sign in button. Click on that. Then enter in all your login info. and click on sign in. All right, so as soon as that signs you in, you're gonna see your player icon in the top right. Click on that and go down to account settings. As soon as you're in here on the column on the left, click on security. Click continue for this to bring you to another page. Here you'll see some security options. First thing, your password. If you haven't changed in a while, you should definitely do that right now. Second thing, if you don't have a security question to answer, I would definitely recommend that as well. Now, here's how you set up two-factor authentication or how they call it here, two-step verification. Just scroll down the bottom here. If you've never set it up before, it should say inactive. Just click on edit. Right here, this is gonna give you a pop-up. All you do, click on activate. Now, here's something that's super important. Um, if you have a PS3, you have a Vita, PSP, PSTV, pretty much any old system, you're gonna have to set up a device password the first time you sign in on those systems. Unfortunately, these systems are pretty old now, so it can't do the two-factor, so you're gonna have to generate a device password instead, but it's not that bad. Click Continue. If you already have a mobile number, just click on it here. If not, click on Add a Mobile Phone, put in your number, click Continue. Since I've already got mine here, I'm just gonna click on the number right here and it's gonna send a code to my cell phone. So I just got it. So I'm gonna enter it in right now. As soon as you enter it in, click on verify. And that's it. You got two-factor authentication set up. The one thing that sucks is it's gonna sign you out of all your PlayStation accounts. So the next time you log in your system, you're gonna to have to sign in again. So just click okay. And as you see here, it's asking for me to sign in again. And now it's asking me for the code. Now, the one good thing, it's not gonna ask you for that every time you turn on your PlayStation, every time you sign in. It's basically if you're going into account details. So on the website, you're trying to buy something. Certain things like that, I'll prompt you. And you see down here, you've got the check mark, two-step verification, active down there, you're all good to go. Now, for those passwords I was talking about, for the PlayStation and the PSP and the Vita, etc., you just go down here to device setup password. So it brings you to this page, just click on generate new password and it'll create a password for you. So pretty much for each system, all you have to do that once for PS3, Vita, PSP, etc. And that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on the PS4. It's pretty easy. All you do is scroll up, you go over settings, click into it, account management, account information, scroll down here to security. Now, same thing before. If you haven't changed your password in a long time, you should change it now. Security question answer, you never did it, set it up. If you don't have a mobile phone, you can add it here. And the very bottom, right there, two-step verification. So, first thing you wanna do, click on that. Click on set up now. Choose your mobile number, hit next. All right, it's gonna send you a text. As soon as you get the text, just enter it in right here. Click on activate. All right, it's gonna say it's now active on your account. It gives you the option here if you wanna sign out on all your devices. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I would recommend to do that because that way you know at least it's you signing in on everything. So scroll down here, hit okay. All right, it signs you in. And put your password one more time, click sign in. All right, now you see it's active. So it's asking me for a code again. It already went to my cell phone. 
You enter in the code one last time, click verify, and you're good to go. With that one simple thing, you're gonna secure your account so much better than it was before. And for me, as soon as I did this, I never had my account hacked again. If you haven't set this up, I'd highly recommend you do it. All right, we're gonna do a quick bonus tip. So the first thing that everybody needs to do and nobody does is change their passwords. The guidelines for passwords are you're supposed to change them every three months, but no one's going to do that or even every six months. So honestly, if you haven't changed your password ever since you created your PlayStation account or in the past year, just do yourself a favor and just change it right now. First thing you definitely shouldn't do is have a password like this. Password 123, horrible, just never do it. You can put almost anything else and it'll be better than this. Having your name, birthday, equally bad. The best thing you can do for passwords is have a phrase. So right here we got PS5 looks awesome, exclamation point. Now that alone is a way better password than the ones before because it's something that's easy to remember, but it's a bunch of words put together. So essentially it's random words. It's not your name, it's not anything to be tied back to you. Now, if you want to make it even better, you can switch it to something like this. I generally like to swap out letters for numbers and symbols. So if you see here, I got the O's, change them to zeros, a few of the S's, change them to dollar signs, A's add symbol, E's the threes, etc. You can do it however you want. As long as it's changed up a little bit, this definitely adds a whole bunch of security. As I said, if you haven't changed your password in the past year, or like some people, and I know you're out there ever since you created your account, definitely change it right now. You'll thank me later. If you enjoyed this video, you like content like this, check out this video over here on my top five favorite games of all time. Like, subscribe, have a good one.